Okay, today's review is like really special to me because this is a little statue of Maggie Mui from the anime slash manga uh, R.O.D. Uh, now the manga is called Reader Dream and then the TV show was R.O.D. the TV obviously from the Read or Die series and if you've never seen it it's really interesting it has characters that basically manipulate paper in the same way that Magneto can manipulate metal and so uh, they have all these kinds of uh, really kind of crazy powers they can just like like they transform paper into things like this kind of like supernatural origami and so like Maggie's ability is that she basically makes like familiars out of paper so she'll make like golems or like wolves and stuff like that and then uh they can make their the paper like so i mean it's eh, it's gonna sound silly when i say it but they can make like the paper like dense like it can stop bullets and they they'll, they uh, make paper that's really sharp and it can actually cut through things and stuff like that and it's just, it's just really really cool and all the characters uh love books and it's just really it's a really really fun uh series and the the manga reader dream i really really like the art especially i just think it's really nice um it's not very many volumes and it's just it's just a really great read um now i've wanted this uh figure or a statue i should say because there's no articulation there's no accessories uh, it's just this i've wanted this uh, for a long time i never saw it way back when this came out man a long time ago maybe like a little over 10 years ago and so i finally finally got it in my collection i've looked for it here and there on occasion and you know i wouldn't find it you know like i check ebay or something like that and i've just never seen it for sale and so i actually have the other sisters as rd the tv is about three sisters and so i do have michelle and anita Now I got Michelle first, and then I got Anita second. Now these two are from from the same the same line. The Anita is actually from uh, a different set of action figures, and the thing about it is that the action figures are a little smaller, and I my problem is that the Anita figure seems like not to scale. Because Anita's really short, and it's like they, it's something that they tease her about like all the time, you know. So it doesn't make any sense for her to be like face to face with Michelle. So what I've done is I basically just use the the figure version to go in with these statues. See, the figures have like accessories, removable arms, removable faces, and stuff like that. So I, I you know I do think that the figures for Michelle and Maggie are actually really cool. They're just not to scale. So this seems about right. The the actual like Anita statue that goes with these is a little too tall, and then the the figures of Michelle and Maggie are a little too short. So I don't know. That just kind of bugs me when things aren't to scale. So I think this works out really nice. Uh, you can buy them individually. Though this Anita this Anita came with uh, the the collector's edition of uh, Volume Seven uh, of the anime, which is really really cool. Not a lot of uh, those art boxes would come with figures, although a lot of them did come with all kinds of stuff, t-shirts and, and stuff like that. Um, if you ever bought the, the Najika uh, box, it came with a pair of panties, which sounds weird, but if you've ever seen that show, you'll know exactly why it comes with a pair of panties. Um, but I really like the ROD uh, <laughs> uh, collector's box more, as I don't have much use for a pair of panties. I guess I could use it like as a rag to like i don't know clean my counters but i feel like that would raise a lot of questions uh this 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 is uh, much more understandable for people and i think that combined with the other sisters uh this maggie just really this is really really great i've only it's been like this on my shelves for 10 years and then only just recently well i say recently it was actually a while ago it just takes forever to get things from japan all the way here to the states 
Um, but it's always interesting when you order something from Japan and get it all wrapped up in like Japanese newspaper. Can't read any of it, but you know the the advertisements seem fun. Uh, so finally, finally, I can complete this and i've been wanting oh man I, like i've wanted to look at this site this is what i've wanted to see for like a decade now and only just now did i finally um complete it and she wasn't really very expensive uh, i thought it was gonna like oh man if i ever do find it, it's gonna cost an arm and a leg or something like that no nah, it was like 40 odd dollars so i'm really grateful for that i feel like i got like the last one in existence but I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of a... That's like a weird thing to be proud of. But, I don't know, what can I say? I have a sense of pride. I finally have a Maggie. And she looks terrific. I mean, look at that. The face, the eyes. That just looks so fantastic. Her hair is really cool, too. I really like uh, that Maggie has short hair, and it's always kind of messy. It's always uh, like she has bed head, like she just wakes up and, you know, that's just whatever. Whatever her hair looks like when she gets up, that's her hair for the day. Their outfits are really, really cool. And of course, using their paper manipulation powers, they actually make their outfits out of paper. Underneath, um, they're basically wearing these like black wetsuits. And so their outfits are actually constructed from paper again it's a really kind of crazy power but it's really really fun I really like the way they sculpted her coat here I like how it looks like it's kind of blowing in the wind but off to the left because Michelle's dress also looks like it's blowing in the wind off to the left so that kind of gives it um, more of a dynamic look which I think is important for statues because well, I can't move them there's no articulation so really you want them to look like they're in the middle of doing something you know you want that you want it to be dynamic looking so I think that that's really really great I'm so happy that I got this it took so long to get here and you know, like you know like you track a package it's just like oh my gosh this is gonna take forever and the whole time I'm just getting worried I'm just getting worried because I'm thinking like what if something happens what if it gets lost you know it's like the holidays who knows how many packages are being shipped around all over the place and there's bad weather what if it's like oh yeah that your package was on a boat or a plane and it just it got lost because there was some storm and they had to stop somewhere they that they weren't supposed to stop you know I'm my this is just the way that I am <laughs> So I get uh, anxiety and I'm I'm like a panicking thing about how I'm always I'm always imagining like the worst case scenario, which is like a bad habit. But it was taking so long that it was like it's lost. It's just gone forever. And then it had just arrived just yesterday and I, I was gonna like I was gonna check, you know, maybe it's here, but it's like I'd been doing that and it, and it wasn't. So I was like, you know what? Today I'm not gonna check. And then of course, of course it shows up the day that I'm not going to check and then it rained even uh, on top of that so then the box was wet I'm like oh you really messed up but it was really great um, they had wrapped it up in plastic anyways so even though the box was wet the figure and the and, and the packaging was actually uh, safe so I'm very grateful for that anyways there's not a whole lot to say with the figure she doesn't come with any accessories or anything like that but I just wanted to make this video just because I just, I just, I've wanted it for so long. It just feels really good to finally have all three sisters. I mean, I got like this huge uh, ROD, the TV wall scroll. I, I just, I really like this series. And uh, I think maybe a lot of people that are into books probably like this series because they're always talking about books and it's just nice to see characters who have a love for for books and reading and uh but really it's just a very interesting show it's done in this kind of super 
like secret agent kind of spy stuff and and already the tv in particular was kind of like this charlie's angels thing you know as being like three girls and um you know uh, maggie would create these giant golems and she was like the powerhouse she was the strong one and then anita she would use all of these uh little pieces of paper to cut stuff so it's like she, it's like she had a bunch of like uh you might as well just think of these as knives and stuff like that and then um michelle could make like a a bow and arrow out of out of paper so she was like the ranged fighter so i, I just thought that was really really neat um their names are all from uh, like famous uh, like hong kong like action actresses you know uh anita king uh maggie chan um i mean sorry uh, anita king michelle chan maggie mui uh so there you know there's um it was supposed to be like this kind of hong kong action movie feel to it but also charlie's angels mixed in and it was just it was really cool it was a really interesting story the dub was really good um and i don't know if you're like a sub or dub person but like i thought the english dub was was really well done especially all the the little uh, actors for the kids they were fantastic uh, so it was a really really great show and it was really funny and had some great action scenes so i would definitely recommend uh checking out that anime or reading the manga which is also uh very very cool and i guess if you think that these figures look cool i would also recommend picking them up they they're really not that expensive they're maybe just a little hard to come by as they're so old and there's not that many people really selling them anymore um so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys just a short little video it's not i guess it's not really a review unless well I mean, I could review it. Uh, all right, so it's uh, it's great. There we go. That's my review. That's my review of the, of all of these figures. They're all great, <laughs> and and I'm really happy that I have them. Um, so I just wanted to share it because I just I'm just really glad I finally got Maggie after ten plus years. I finally finally got it, and it just makes me feel really good about that. Um, so, anyways, until next time, take care.